Hey there, here we are again. I'm making a fast meal today. I'm on my way out the door. This will cook on high for eight hours, so I know I have time to go do my activity. I have one and a half cups of dried pinto beans in here. I've washed them. I haven't soaked them. Um, I haven't boiled them. I just washed them, put them in here. In this, the spices I'm gonna add, because tonight for dinner, we're having taquitos, because I know that I'm gonna be short on time. And so I wanted the beans to go along with the taquitos. And if I'm in the mood when I get home, I'll make some Mexican rice. But right now I know this would be enough. So, um, and we love taquitos. And so in here, I have put two teaspoons of oregano, one teaspoon of garlic, one to one and a half teaspoons of salt. I always use sea salt. Um, and then uh, you can use one teaspoon of cumin or one teaspoon of taco seasoning. I ha I'm using taco seasoning. So I'm gonna just dump these in there. And then I wanted to put three of my pickled peppers in there. You don't, you can do that, not do that. You can use red flake peppers. You can use no peppers, do whatever suits you. And then I don't like the water here. So we've been using bottled water. So this is a 16.9 ounce bottled water. I am just gonna pour it over that. You don't need as much water when you're doing it in a crock pot because it holds the moisture in the crock pot, okay? So there we go. I'm setting it on high and I'm out of here. When I come back, I will show you dinner and I think I'm gonna make a custard. Um, it's really a pie, but it's, I put it in a pie pan for dessert, so stay tuned. Okay, I promised you a custard pie at the end of this video, so here we go. It's really quick, it's super easy, easier than you think. I have four eggs in here and you gotta beat your eggs up, okay? So you can do this with a fork, you don't have to have a whisk. Just beat those eggs, okay? And so that's, that is good enough, right? And then in this bowl, I have put three fourths cups of sugar and one tablespoon of cornstarch. Now the, the custard weeps. If you've ever had custard, you know it weeps. Um, this, the cornstarch will just help it a little bit, not weep. And so I'm gonna dump that in there, stir that up. If you can see, but you know, it's not too thick, but it's a little thick. And then in this bowl, I have put one cup of heavy cream and one and a half cups of whole milk. And so we just add that right in there, mix it up. And I'm not, I'm not cutting this at all. I want you to know how fast this is. This is all first take, okay? Then vanilla, they say put a teaspoon of vanilla. I make my own vanilla and I just really like to dump it in there. It's just, it doesn't matter. It, it's good. I like that much. And so I switched pans though. That is one thing I did do. And I don't know if this is gonna fit or not, but I'm gonna give it a try. And you know what? I think I will put it already on here because I'm gonna bake it in this this time, okay? So let's just mix that up. Ooh, I don't think it's gonna fit. Oh, there we go. So you need a little bit bigger pan than I have. So I think what I will do is I think I will get out a small casserole and fill it up. It'll probably cook quicker. Then I'm gonna put it in the oven at, uh, well, I'm gonna put it in this oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes, and then I'll come back and show you how good it looks. All right, stay tuned. Oh, you know what I forgot? I had to turn the camera back on. I sprinkled the top of mine with nutmeg. So just give it a nice little sprinkle like that. Then you're ready to put it in the oven. Very nice. Look how nice brown it is and it didn't overflow. And I got a whole nother pan, which we have some friends camping here. So I think I'm gonna take that down to them and, and give it to them. Very nice. 